Professional communication is how people relate to one another in a professional environment. It's an effective practice whenever you are informing or persuading others for a particular purpose or to achieve a goal. Communicating refers to the verbal, nonverbal, written, and visual methods people use to convey and understand messages. Although communication is a two-way process, communicating and understanding is often through nonverbal methods. For example, people might read the body language and facial expressions of a speaker to gain additional information. When we communicate in writing online, we cannot rely on nonverbal feedback as we do in face-to-face -face communication. Therefore, we must appeal to a professional audience. Online university students can learn how to regulate their tone, word choices, and amount of detail in communications to professional audiences. Formality can vary depending on your audience, but you will consistently want to apply a formal style of English language usage. Shown here is a student email that is considered personal communication. Changing the audience from personal to professional would mean changing every aspect of the message, from the email address and casual subject line to the greeting, message, salutation, even the valediction and signature. Let's change the audience from personal to professional, such as a student writing an email to a professor. First, use only school email and professional academic communication. In the subject line, provide a specific description of the email topic. A one-word subject like help is too unspecific. Identify the course you are in. Begin the email with the formal greeting, Dear Professor, along with the professor's correctly spelled last name. Start the message by further identifying yourself. Begin your question by first indicating you have already sought the answer on your own. Do not include any irrelevant or emotive information. Be sure to describe the problem. Again, be complete, but do not include details unrelated to the question. Notice the student does not include a long narrative. Conclude your message with the course of action you are requesting of the professor. Be clear about your question and what you would like to happen. Finally, provide a professional valediction. Adding a signature block is up to you. Just be sure it's brief and professional. Professional communication is a key to success in both academia and your career. Remember, developing a professional persona in all your communications requires practice. Keep in mind the features of formal style and you will do great!